gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is me. Ah, get this microphone all set up right. Okay, it's set up perfectly for old Duke CT. And how are you doing in this special Friday edition, the Saturday edition of the Duke CT Lounge? I thank you so much for joining me on this, um, just this, um, uh, this uh, Saturday evening, man. Well, it's been one hell of a year, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, just on the craziness of the real world to the entertainment world, pro wrestling to music to everything else. Oh my goodness, what in the world? 2019, man, and there's still a couple more days to go, <laughs> and and yeah, um. You know, you talk about the craziness. Heck, just you know, I just found this just join out about Laura Sullivan and um his uh past life as um <clears throat> uh yeah um uh, uh interesting um um well <laughs> it's interesting things in past life. You know, he did um <laughs> oh my goodness uh gay porn, which is wow. And let's just say all the stuff about his past and everything else. But yeah, um, it looks, it looks like a, like I said, it's a very interesting year. <laughs> it's been a very interesting year. Um, uh, Laura Sullivan, just wow. Oh gosh. <laughs> I mean, this is just, I mean, holy crap, man. That was, we're going to talk about a crazy year and, uh, and a crazy thing, man. <laughs> but, you know, that's just a sign of the times, man. But, you know, we, we look at the negative stuff and the crazy stuff, but there was also good things, positive things, things that will say, you know what, maybe there's hope on this planet, you know? Um, some positive things. Um, you know, let's look at some um, van, uh, advances this year. I mean, they, I mean, they, you know, I always look at that. Let's see what the medical stuff of, of the biggest things right here. Of we uh you look here it's from midlix dot com link will be in the description of course all of these things um links will be in the description um there's um uh, you know smart inhalers for rupture illnesses um uh you know that's you know that's a good uh, wireless brain sensors for neurological disorders um. With uh, you know, use some patients with uh, Parkinson's disease, traumatic brain injury, sleep disorders, all these other things using these uh, this great technology and stuff. So there's there's other uh, things like, for well, example, urine tests for so cancer uh, detection. Doing you know more ways we can treat. Like if we can detect it, they can treat it, and um, you know, and how people and help people get into remission. Um, uh, let's see. Let's see uh, uh, sim simply moid for multiple sclerosis. A, I think it was a, um, something of a, uh, a, uh, a, 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 it's a, um, I think it's a machine or something. Uh, simply toid. Let me look at this right here. What is it? Um, I think this is a, um, uh, oh, a medic. It's a, I believe it's a, um, a medicine, I believe. It is a, um, uh, Receptor monocle. So yeah, that's uh, that is a medicine to help people with um, uh, multiple sclerosis. That's awesome. Um, let's see, um, more medications for um, plaque pro prolysis, um, uh, also for bladder cancer and uh, CRISPR in human trials. Which, wow, this that looks to be really good as well. So again. There are some really good and interesting things happening in, um, you know, this past year. Um, also, you had, um, uh, let's see, um, you know, um, uh, other things have been, um, you know, um, you know, things have been, uh, you know, again, I look, there's also other stuff here, um, but let's see, uh, technology, uh, you know, again, like I said, what are the big breakthroughs of uh, 2019? Uh, all these other things here. And um, 
right, uh, you know, see that these things that are going to be something really good. Um, again, positive stuff. That like uh, like I said, some that again people seem to kind of over you know the other things we kind of go the you know you know see uh, machine learning, um, you know our you know artificial intelligence. Hopefully uh, the cars don't crash in anything or anyone. Uh, okay, this is a positive list to be positive. Um, quantum computing, um, something like that, like. Um, uh, mostly a crossword, but yeah, that'd be, you know, again, more interesting, uh, t uh, stuff like that will be, you know, supercomputers, all these other things, uh, uh, virtual reality, AR stuff, which is cool, but I always think to me is that, uh, I like the idea of it, but until there's actually physical feedback, it's not going to really, um, you know, it's not actually, um, you know, to me, that's just, you know, just, just waving around. You're just that sort of thing. It's not really, you know, that sort of thing, but Hey, yeah, I, hopefully that will build up to that. Um, let's see, uh, the global internet things, uh, let's see, um, um, <laughs> but yeah, um, all these other, uh, situations about, you know, how we are too connected, <laughs> And blockchain technology, the last thing here. It's, you know, it's uh, from uh, out of, uh, um, I think from, comes out of cryptocurrency transactions and such. So, again, there's a lot of stuff that people like to get into. So, those are the top five technology stuff. And quite honestly, it's been, again, I like to look at the, and let's see what the health is and such. <coughs> Speaking of situations and such, the, the big health, um, you know, uh, from uh, the, I believe, the Cleveland uh, Clinic, reveals the top 10 middle, uh, right here. Um, it says, um, um, let's see, alternative um, therapy for pain. Saying, you know, we look at the chronic pain, thinking about what type of way to help people from this whole opiate crisis. Uh, that's good. Instead of, you know, just putting more pills and such, maybe we find more uh, ways to help people who have these chronic illnesses and chronic pain, um, a lot more, uh, you know, take like, you know, maybe we need to look more into other, um, other, um, other type of medication instead of using opioids. Um, the advent of, uh, AI to help people with, uh, yeah, the healthcare. Um, that seems to be a good thing. Um, expand the window for, uh, you know, after to stroke intervention, which is a uh, really uh, a good thing, <laughs> um, since you know the, the personal stuff that happened in my family and such. But yeah, it's uh, you know I always you know it was uh, you know I, I you know it's just the expanded way for treatment treatment and and things like that. So yeah, it's always a good thing that you know when you have these uh, health issues, they uh, you know we have new technologies to help people. From strokes to heart attacks to anything else to people to get better, it'd be um, you know, a lot better to uh, to get better and get back on their uh, back on their feet. Let's see four advances in immunotherapy for cancer treatments. Um, can uh, let's see, uh, let's see uh, biologic therapy is a technique that is used in the body's own immune system to fight cancer. Um, there there have actually been uh, more advances to that, which is looks to be something um, really good. Um, Oh, and uh, with uh, 3D printing, it looks like patients specific patient specific products uh, with 3D printing, which is really good for people who need, um, you know, um, just uh, prosthetics, all this type of stuff, you know, for, you know, all these things used with 3D printing, which is uh, amazing. This is really good. Um uh, virtual reality, helping people, um, you know, for, uh, medical education, you, you know, using, uh, this VR tech to help people, um, to, um, you know, um, uh, to make sure that, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to use and help, um, uh, to sharpen people's skills. So they say to use the healthcare professionals to argue, do, uh, sharpen their skills, for um you know for you know using any type of uh, help and everything which is good 
I um, I hope this is something that, again, more of, um, you know, uh, <laughs> I hope this actually does help the doctors and such to use that uh, and everything. Um, yeah, it's an advisor for pre-hospital stroke diagnosis, which is, wow, this is like, again, this is using VR, you uh, know, visitor to uh, see what's going on in the head, which is, um, um, again, a very good, and it looks to say, hey, we can use, uh, this is a very, Again, they say a efficient di diagnostic tool device for pre-hospital heritage scanning service to speed of diagnosis and and just see what type of um of of um you know this type of thing to um you know these type of uh, medical advances to help people with like I said previously but strokes and such. Oh, we got and now that robot surgery. So uh, looks like the you know, more integrations to, uh, robots to. Help, uh, you know, get into places that doctors probably can't, you know, um, you know, to, you know, the, you know, human hands are good, but sometimes they might be unsteady and the robot, you know, that's something sort of will make sure it won't be as unsteady. And they'll say, uh, you, they, again, it's just, uh, uh, it extreme precision in surgery is a today's surgical platforms are highly advanced are used, uh, everywhere from spine to end of endovascular procedures showing recovery time and limited pain after you know the surgery are just few of the patients benefits seen with minimally invasive robotized surgery so that's going to be more used in the future um nine medical or trispid valve, valve potential replacement and repair cataract surgery today is less intensive and more routine and in fact uh, 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 you know, less than an ACE and more routine and effective than its story counterpart. Form potentially via the catheter cat 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 to the skin. Many cataract procedures no longer require an open heart surgery approach. Uh, two such procedures performed this way include re replacements and repair on, of both the mistral and tissue valves. Hot on trail of a uh, aerocardic valve precursor intervention. Recent precarious material and trispid valve intervention has yielded significant positive outcomes while for filling a void of the field of heart surgery. It's like, again, that's, you know, new and innovative ways to help people with hearts and such. And uh, number 10, the last but not least, is RNA-based uh, therapies. Is the, this is the, um, this is right here. Uh, RNA-based therapies are the newest innovation in labs no, no, nationwide, and have some immense shown immense potential in, in, interfering with genetic data at the repnoclonic acid uh, level. Give scientists the ability to intercept a person's genetic abnormality before it's translated into functioning or non-functioning proteins. Today, the most popular and successful mechanism of RNA therapy include antisense nucleoids, and RNA interference. These new therapies are exploited in a very variety of rare genetic diseases such as Hutchinson's disease as well as cancer and neurological diseases. We we'll hope the treatment by way of alternate gene data. These new me mechanisms of actions are opening windows for progress and innovation in therapeutics, which, hey, more chances to help people with these uh, diseases and just be like, okay, what's going now? This looks like, hey, you know what? This is something uh, we can uh, use to help so many people, use to help so many, uh, change so many lives, to help with these people with these uh, horrific diseases and, and cure a lot of these people uh, and uh, cure a lot of these uh, horrible things. Again, like I said, positive things in 2019, positive stuff, um, you know, from you know, from these big things, you know, advancements in internal medicine, uh, technology, health, all these things. And again, links will be in the description. So you can look at this stuff as well. But like I said, there's a lot of positive things. And this is not getting too well, the entertainment stuff and the video games and everything else, which are good. But it's nice to be reminded that again, we are living in a, a society which you see I know we live in a society, but <clears throat> it's nice to see that we can look and see the positives and the growth of it because you can be mired in the negativity and 
and it can hurt you and it can just be such a drain. Being a part, being negative can just be such a drain. And um, it's I, I deal with it sometimes. I do it on the show. I do it on my video show sometimes. I do it on my radio, you know, my podcast. I do it on stuff. It's such, and in 2020, I try to be, I'm going to try to be a little more positive. I always try to do that. But I feel like sometimes we forget about the positive things. Sometimes we forget about how um, blessed we are and seeing these uh, these uh, progresses and things that, um, you know, are generally good. And that's something we need to be something more uh, positive. And again, you know, um, you know, again, there's a lot of stuff here that people who are just seen to, um, some things like, you know, maybe sometimes maybe we um you know, we forget the things that um that just seem to just go so what uh, so much goes in that situation you know so yeah there's also everything that's positive but that's you know the big stuff but let's get to the smaller stuff ladies and gentlemen i uh, will get to that after a small little break uh, we'll be right back here on the Duke CT Lounge. Um, uh, hopefully, you can come in and talk about what your best, worst, and in between are. If not, leave something in the comment section below, and we will be talk. I will talk about this um, later on. Uh, you know, talk about this with you here in the lounge. If not, like I said, chat room is always on lock. And not only that, but hey, this comment section is always good as well. Uh, we'll be all right back, and when we come back, we're gonna be talking about the good stuff in the video games, good stuff in the uh, the stuff like that in the entertainment world. So yeah, so we're gonna be talking about that as well, and we will get to that right at this here live on the Duke C Lounge. Thank you so much for talking to me, Duke CT, here on TalkShoe.com. We'll be right back right after this.